As the World Turns, often referred to as ATWT, is an American television soap opera that aired on CBS for 54 years from April 2, 1956, to September 17, 2010. Erna Phillips created As the World Turns as a sister show to her other soap opera Guiding Light. Running for 54 years, As the World Turns holds the third longest continuous run of any daytime network soap opera on American television, surpassed only by General Hospital and Guiding Light. As the World Turns was produced for the first 43 years in Manhattan and in Brooklyn from 2000 until 2010, set in the fictional town of Oakdale, Illinois, the show debuted on April 2, 1956, at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Prior to that date, all serials had been 15 minutes in length. As the World Turns and the Edge of Night, which premiered on the same day at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, were the first two to be 30 minutes in length from their premiere. At first, viewers were indifferent to the new half-hour serial, but ratings picked up in its second year, eventually reaching the top spot in the daytime Nielsen ratings by fall 1958. In 1959, the show started a streak of weekly ratings wins that was not interrupted for over 12 years. The show switched to color on August 21, 1967, and expanded from a half hour in length to one hour starting on December 1, 1975, when The Edge of Night moved to ABC. In the year-to-date ratings, As the World Turns was the most-watched daytime drama from 1958 until 1978, with 10 million viewers tuning in each day. At its height, core actors such as Helen Wagner, Don McLaughlin, Don Hastings, and Eileen Fulton became nationally known. Three of these actors, Wagner, Hastings, and Fulton, are also the three longest-serving actors in the history of American soap operas. The show passed its 10,000th episode on May 12, 1995, and celebrated its 50th anniversary on April 2, 2006. On September 18, 2009, As the World Turns became the last remaining Procter & Gamble produced soap opera for CBS after Guiding Light aired its final episode on the network. On December 8, 2009, CBS announced that it was canceling as the world turns after a run of almost 54 years due to low ratings. The show taped its final scenes on June 23, 2010, and with a dramatic storyline finale, its final episode on the network aired on September 17, 2010. On October 18, 2010, CBS replaced as the world turns with a newly debuted talk show The Talk. Topic premise As the World Turns was the creation of Erna Phillips, who beginning in the 1930s, had been one of the foremost creators and writers of radio soap operas. As a writer, Phillips favored character development and psychological realism over melodrama, and her previous creations, which included Guiding Light, were especially notable for placing professionals, doctors, lawyers, and clergy, at the center of their storylines. Phillips wrote, As the world turns, we know the bleakness of winter, the promise of spring, the fullness of summer, and the harvest of autumn, the cycle of life is complete, and so it was with As the world turns, with its slow-moving psychological character studies of families headed by legal and medical professionals. The personal and professional lives of doctors and lawyers remain central to As the world turns throughout its run, and eventually became standard fare on many soap operas. Whereas the 15-minute radio soaps often focused on one central, heroic character, for example, Dr. Jim Brent in Phillips' Road of Life, the expanded 30-minute format of As the World Turns enabled Phillips to introduce a handful of professionals within the framework of a family saga. Phillips' style favored gradual evolution over radical change. Slow, conversational, and emotionally intense, the show moved at the pace of life itself, and sometimes even more slowly than that. Each new addition to the cast was done in a gradual manner, and was usually a key contact to one of the members of the Hughes family. As such, the show earned a reputation as being quite conservative, though the show did showcase a gay male character in 1988. During the show's early decades, the content-related policies of its sponsor Procter & Gamble Productions may have contributed to the perception of conservatism. 
The soap manufacturing giant typically balked at storylines in which adultery and other immoral behavior went unpunished, and as late as the 1980s, characters from the primary families were still generally not allowed to go through with abortions. Notable history and accomplishments As the World Turns premiered on April 2, 1956. It was the first television daytime drama with a 30-minute running time. All daytime dramas until then had 15-minute running times. The series was also CBS' first to expand to a 60-minute running time in 1975. By 1958, the program was the number one daytime drama in the United States, where it remained until 1978. As the World Turns won the Daytime Emmy for Outstanding Daytime Drama Series four times, in 1987, 1991, 2001, and 2003. Topic. Cast and characters Topic. Helen Wagner The first words spoken in As the World Turns in the first episode, aired on April 2, 1956, were, Good morning, dear, said by the character Nancy Hughes, played by actress Helen Wagner. Wagner was acknowledged by the Guinness Book of Records for having the longest run in a single role on television, a position she held until 2010. She did not play the role without interruption. She was temporarily dropped from the series after the first six months due to conflicts with creator Erna Phillips. Wagner also left the series in 1981, when she felt that writers were not interested in the veteran players and returned as a regular character in 1985. On the episode broadcast on Monday, August 30, 2010, it was revealed that Nancy had died in her sleep. The next day's episode dealt with Nancy's memorial service. Nancy Hughes's memorial aired just two weeks before the series finale. The show's producers stated in interviews that they had to revise their plans for the final episode because of Wagner's death. They had hoped that Wagner would say the final lines of the last episode just as she had said the first words of the first episode. Topic crossovers Several crossovers have been made between As the World Turns and other serials. 1962 The character Mitchell Drew, Jeffrey Lum, was brought to Oakdale after the cancellation of the Procter & Gamble soap The Brighter Day. The same character, an actor, was then transferred to a new P&G soap, Another World, shortly after its premiere in 1964. Another World was originally conceived by Erna Phillips to be a spin-off series of As the World Turns. Like several other characters from Another World, Mitchell Drew crossed over for one or more performances on the first Another World spin-off, Somerset, which premiered in March 1970. 1965 The character Lisa Miller Hughes Eileen Fulton was used as the basis to create a primetime spin-off soap Our Private World, CBS's attempt to duplicate the success of rival network ABC's Peyton Place, with Lisa leaving Oakdale and moving to Chicago, where she married wealthy John Eldridge, but had an affair with his brother Thomas. Though Our Private World only lasted a few months, and Fulton returned to As the World Turns in early 1966, after taking a few months off, remnants of Lisa's time on Our Private World were resurrected 26 years later, when it was revealed in 1992 that Lisa had had a son off-camera, hitherto unknown to viewers, before returning to As the World Turns in 1966. Her son Scott Eldridge tracked her down as an adult, and remained on as the world turns for several years. 1999-2003 Shortly after NBC cancelled Another World on April 12, 1999, with the series finale that aired on June 25 of the same year, the characters of Cass and Lila Winthrop, Stephen Schnetzer and Lisa Peluso, and Jake and Victoria McKinnon, Tom Eplin and Jensen Buchanan, crossed over to As the World Turns briefly. Jake and Vicky intended to move to Oakdale, but Vicky was soon killed off in September 1999, then appeared as a ghost to Jake and Molly from November 2000 to February 2001. 
Cass only appeared on a recurring basis through 2003, usually whenever anyone in Oakdale needed an attorney, other than resident lawyer Tom Hughes, and Jake Tom Eplin, remained as a regular on the series until his character was killed off in 2002. Cindy Brooke Harrison Kim Rhodes, also had minor appearances in 2000 and 2001. Vicky's mother and twin sister, Donna Anna Stewart, and Marley Ellen Wheeler, who at the time also directed episodes of As the World Turns, made recurring appearances from 2000 to 2002, and left the show when they gained custody of Jake and Vicky's twin daughters after Jake's death. There were also plans to have a now teenage Stephen Frame, Vicky's son with Jamie Frame, come to Oakdale and live with Jake, but the character was reconceived as teenage Bryant Montgomery, the son of As the World Turns couple Craig and Sierra. Since 2005, a number of characters have crossed back and forth between As the World Turns and The Young and the Restless. 2005 As the World Turns, at the request of Oakdale, Illinois, District Attorney Jessica Griffin, Michael Baldwin, Christian LeBlanc, Travis traveled there to serve as the attorney for Jack Snyder Michael Park, in a custody hearing involving his late wife Julia Larrabee's son, J.J. April 4, 05, 2005, the irony in his appearance in the above-mentioned episodes, is that 20 years before, LeBlanc left the role of Kirk McColl, the youngest son of Lisa's fifth husband, Whit McColl, played by Wagon Train star Robert Horton, who was killed off shortly before Fulton's return to the show. So, to many longtime fans of both As the World Turns and The Young and the Restless, seeing LeBlanc as the character from the latter show was weird. History was also made during LeBlanc's appearance on As the World Turns, since both shows are made by different production companies, Bell Dramatic Serial Company for The Young and the Restless, Procter & Gamble for As the World Turns, although they are on the same network. 2007 The Young and the Restless, Amber Moore Adrian France, called on her friend Alison Stewart Marnie Schulenberg, to help trick Kane Ashby, Daniel Goddard, into marriage. After Amber drugged Kane, Alison dressed up as him for the wedding service. February 22, 2007 the Young and the Restless, Emily Stewart, Kelly Menegan Hensley, traveled from Oakdale, Illinois to Genoa City, Wisconsin, in search of information on her sister, Allison Stewart, Marnie Schulenberg. Emily met with Amber Moore, Adrian France, at Crimson Lights Coffeehouse, but Amber denied knowing Allison's whereabouts. After Emily was gone, Amber placed a call to Allison as a heads up. 2009-10 On December 8, 2009, CBS cancelled the series after almost 54 years, with the series finale airing on September 17, 2010, making it the last Procter & Gamble soap opera to end. Topic. President Kennedy's assassination On November 22, 1963, the live CBS broadcast of As the World Turns began as always at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. In this episode, the Hughes family was discussing plans for Thanksgiving. Ten minutes later, a CBS News Bulletin slide suddenly came up on the screen and Walter Cronkite gave the first report of the assassination. Here is a bulletin from CBS News, in Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. More details just arrived, these details about the same as previously, President Kennedy shot today just as his motorcade left downtown Dallas. Mrs. Kennedy jumped up and grabbed Mr. Kennedy, she called, oh no. The motorcade sped on. United Press says that the wounds for President Kennedy perhaps could be fatal. Repeating, a bulletin from CBS News, President Kennedy has been shot by a would-be assassin in Dallas, Texas. Stay tuned to CBS News for further details. At the end of this bulletin, CBS rejoined as the world turns, which was still in progress. 
The cast, performing the episode live, was not yet aware of the rapidly developing situation, as NBC and ABC, the other two major U.S. TV networks, were not programming at the time. The 1.30 to 2 o'clock Eastern Time period belonging to their local affiliates, as the world turns has the distinction of being the last regular U.S. network program broadcast for the next four days as the assassination and funeral of JFK and the transition of power to President Lyndon B. Johnson took center stage. Topic. Broadcast history As the world turns enjoyed a virtually uninterrupted reign as the highest rated soap from 1958 to 1978, tying for first place with NBC Daytime's Another World 1973-1974, 1977-1978, and Days of Our Lives 1973-1974. By the mid-1960s, it was so firmly entrenched that its strongest competition, Let's Make a Deal, despite developing a devoted fan base in its own right and becoming one of daytime's most popular game shows, could not come close to matching it in the Nielsen's. Its strength was such that ABC ran hour-long drama reruns in the 1 o'clock to 2 p.m. Noon 1 o'clock Central, slot in the mid-1960s and NBC, after losing deal to ABC in 1968, ran a total of eight shows, all short-lived, with the exception of three on a match, which lasted three years, against As the World Turns and Let's Make a Deal from that point until 1975. As that year began, Another World was expanded to 60 minutes, with their first hour-long episode airing on January 6, 1975. Although this did not directly affect as the world turns, as the two shows were not in competition for anything other than the overall ratings win, CBS' afternoon lineup suffered some ratings damage as the popular soap put a dent in the ratings of both of CBS' popular afternoon game shows, The Price is Right and Match Game. NBC, pleased by the success that the expansion of Another World had brought to the network, elected to do the same thing with Days of Our Lives beginning on April 21, 1975. This put Days of Our Lives and As the World Turns in direct competition for ratings. Incidentally, the expansions were occurring seven years after the last two 15-minute serials, Search for Tomorrow and The Guiding Light, expanded to 30 minutes. CBS considered expanding as the world turns and search for tomorrow to 45 minutes, eliminating the time slot during which stations broadcast local newscasts, but eventually decided to expand as the world turns, its front runner in the ratings battle, to a full hour length. CBS set a target of September 1975 to complete the expansion and needed to free up 30 minutes worth of space on its schedule to do so. Game show The Price is Right was relocated to 10.30 a.m. and aired a week's worth of 60-minute shows in September as a test for a potential permanent expansion. While The Price is Right's expansion was intended as temporary to start, the expansion of As the World Turns was to be permanent. As such, the network was required to cancel one of the other programs on its schedule. CBS turned its eye to the edge of night, which at the time was the network's lowest rated program. The former hit had been moved, at Procter & Gamble's insistence, from its 3.30 p.m. time slot to the 2.30 p.m. slot following the guiding light in 1972. As a result, the edge of night lost a large portion of its audience. In addition to those factors working against it, the rest of CBS' drama lineup was performing well in the ratings and the network could not move the long-running serial to another time slot without risking preemption from local affiliates, which would have driven ratings even lower. An agreement was struck between CBS, Procter & Gamble, and ABC to get the necessary 30 minutes for the As the World Turns expansion. CBS would not renew The Edge of Night once its contract was up, and Procter & Gamble moved the serial to ABC and aired it there. However, a problem arose that would have caused a major issue had CBS elected to go ahead with a September expansion of As the World Turns. The network's contract with Procter & Gamble was not due to expire until December 1975. This meant that no new episodes of The Edge of Night would air for three months, and ABC wanted to keep the series' continuity intact. 
CBS decided to hold off on the expansion and continue airing The Edge of Night until ABC could find a space for the serial. In November 1975, ABC announced the cancellation of the game show You Don't Say, which had been airing in the network's 4 p.m. timeslot. The final episode was scheduled to air on November 28, 1975, after which The Edge of Night would be free to leave CBS and As the World Turns would be free to expand to 60 minutes. The first hour-long episode of As the World Turns aired on December 1, 1975. The first half of the show continued to perform well against Let's Make a Deal on ABC, which the network moved to the noon timeslot within four weeks of the expansion. The second half put As the World Turns in competition with ABC's most popular game show, The $10,000 Pyramid, which had done well against Guiding Light since the network moved it to 2 p.m. at the end of 1974 and kept doing so against As the World Turns. Although the expansion was not a complete success, at the end of the season, the serial was again at the top of the daytime Nielsen's despite a 1.4 point drop from the year before. Although the eventual hit game show Family Feud ran against As the World Turns from July 12, 1976, until April 22, 1977, it did not become a hit for ABC until its move to the mornings. Only when ABC made its first move to a one-hour soap with All My Children did trouble really began for As the World Turns and Days of Our Lives, since ABC kept that serial's starting time at 1 o'clock, noon, meaning that fans of that serial who tuned to NBC or CBS would miss the last half of that day's storyline or, contrarywise, would not, if they watched until the mid-program commercial break and then changed channels, pick up the As the World Turns or Days of Our Lives activities from the episode beginning, since ABC strategically placed its break several minutes after the bottom of the hour. Further, All My Children's emphasis on youth-oriented, sexier storylines provided a sharp contrast to the domestic, almost quaint tone of As the World Turns and to a lesser degree, the melodramatic, somewhat topical days. On January 16, 1978, ABC ballooned its decade-old One Life to live to the 2 p.m., 1 p.m. starting time, compounding the other network's headaches. These factors helped contribute to the fall of As the World Turns from the top spot in the ratings at the end of the 1978-79 season. After finishing the previous season tied with Another World for number one in the Nielsen's, as the world turns fell to fourth behind All My Children, General Hospital, and The Young and the Restless. On February 4, 1980, CBS moved and expanded The Young and the Restless to a full hour after the cancellation of the soap opera Love of Life. The Young and the Restless moved from noon, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., noon the former affiliate break time slot, and As the World Turns was bumped up to 2 o'clock, 1 p.m. and Guiding Light to 3 o'clock, 2 p.m. On June 8, 1981, As the World Turns returned to its longtime 1.30, 12.30 p.m. start time with Search for Tomorrow following at 2.30, 1.30 p.m. and The Young and the Restless leading off the serial lineup at either noon, 11 a.m. or 12.30 p.m., 11.30 a.m., depending on affiliate preference. As the world turns remained at 1.30, 12.30 p.m. until March 20, 1987, when CBS cancelled the five-year-old Capital in favor of The Bold and the Beautiful. CBS scheduled it at 1.30, 12.30 p.m., and finally settled as the world turns at 2 o'clock, 1 p.m., where it remained until its final network episode in September 2010. Although facing the full length of another world and one life to live once again, the Douglas Marland era of 1985 to 1993 had a resurgence in ratings, and by 1991, it was back in its once habitual top four placing. As the world turns survived NBC's cancellation of its sister Another World in 1999. End. On December 8, 2009, CBS confirmed that it would not renew as the world turns. The final CBS episode was taped on June 23, 2010, at JC Studios in Brooklyn. It aired on September 17, 2010. The final scene included Kim Hughes, Catherine Hayes, telling Bob Hughes, Don Hastings, to take as much time as he needed. 
Bob said the final two lines, "'Good night' and left the Oakdale Memorial Hospital for the last time, and the globe started spinning before the final fade-out. Ratings ATWT Ratings, 1956–2010 One example of the drastic change in daytime television can be found in the following Daytime History, Highest Rated Week, November 16–20, 1981 Household Ratings Nielsen Media Research, 1995 Ratings as the world turns spent a record-breaking 20 years on top of the Nielsen ratings for American daytime soap operas, from 1958 to 1978. It would retain this record until The Young and the Restless broke it in 2008 when it remained number one for 21 years and counting. Years as number one series record low, 1,773,000 viewers on December 25, 2009. Nielsen Media Research Topic. Schedule CBS April 2, 1956 to November 28, 1975, 1.30 to 2 p.m. 12.30 to 1 p.m. CT, PT December 1, 1975 to February 1, 1980, 1:30 to 2:30 p.m. 12:30 to 1:30 p.m. CT PT. February 4, 1980 to June 5, 1981, 2 o'clock to 3 p.m. 1 o'clock to 2 p.m. CT PT. June 8, 1981 to March 20, 1987, 1:30 to 2:30 p.m. 12:30 to 1:30 p.m. CT PT. March 23, 1987 to September 17, 2010, 2 o'clock to 3 p.m. 1 o'clock to 2 p.m. CT PT. Topic: Main crew. Topic: Executive Producers. Topic: Head Writers. Topic: Crew at Cancellation. Writing team, Jean Passanante, Lloyd Gold, Leah Lehman, Cheryl Davis, Susan Dansby, David A. Levinson, Gordon Rayfield, Dan Mooney, Gigi Swift, Janet Yacobuzio, Josh Griffith Producing team, Christopher Goutman, Carol Schur, Jennifer Shakor, Vivian Gundaker, Sarah Shaker, Sonia Blanjardo Directing team, Michael Eilbaum, John O'Connell, Jennifer Pepperman, Matthew Griffin Maria Wagner, Habib Azar, Sonia Blanjardo, Ian Toporoff, Christopher Goutman, Michael Kerner, Carol Sedwick, Janet Andrews, James Koval, Brian Lytle, Jennifer Blood, Nancy Barron, Alexandra Rolsvig, Brett Hellman Casting director, Mary Clay Boland Topic. International broadcast In South Africa, As the World Turns aired on SABC2 from June 2010 to February 2012 from 1410 to 1500 each weekday. Episodes were four years behind the original U.S. broadcast. In Canada As the World Turns aired on ONTV, and, later, Global Television Network, and on NTV in Newfoundland and Labrador. In Jamaica as the world turns started airing on television Jamaica Monday to Friday 1 p.m. beginning in 2011. In Belize as the world turns was seen on Great Belize Television at 2 p.m. Central Time, usually the same day as the U.S. telecasts. In New Zealand as the world turns was aired on TVNZ from 1962 to 1989. In Australia, As the World Turns was aired on Network 10 first at 1.30 p.m., then moved to 5 p.m. before ultimately being dropped entirely in 1987. In the Netherlands, As the World Turns was very popular and aired for more than 20 years. From 1989 till its cancellation, it was the best-watched daytime soap. 
In 2010 Terry Kahn, Martha Byrne, Marnie Schulenberg, Trent Dawson, Grayson McCouch, Van Hansis visited the Netherlands and were special guests at the Farewell ATWT meeting. Elizabeth Hubbard even guest starred in the Dutch soap, Gaeta Tiden, Slecht Tiden, for a while, after the cancellation of ATWT. Topic. Intern In 2006, CBS launched a reality show called Intern on their broadband channel Intertube, the winner of which would go on to receive a 13-week acting contract on As the World Turns. The eventual winner of Intern was Alex Charik, an 18-year-old, student, pizza transportation artist, from New York. Charik made his debut as the character Elwood Hoffman on September 26, 2006. A one-hour, best of, show aired on CBS on November 24, 2006. CBS launched Intern 2 in the summer of 2007. For the new season, the age restrictions expanded to allow for middle-aged viewers to participate, and there were nine competitors instead of eight. The winner of the second season was Ryan Serhant, a recent graduate of Hamilton College. Serhant made his debut in the contract role on November 7, 2007. He plays Evan Walsh IV, son of Evan Walsh III. He is a young hotshot biochemist prodigy who comes home to Oakdale to try to convince Craig Montgomery to invest in the cutting-edge biomedical tech field. He began taping on September 24, 2007, two days after the close of his off-Broadway play, Purple Hearts. Intern 3 began airing in April 2008 and featured 17 episodes. Topic. Awards Topic. Writers Guild of America Awards 2007. Best Daytime Serial. Written by Jean Passanante, Leah Lehman, Christopher Whitesell, Courtney Simon, Anna Cassio, Lisa Connor, Paula Quickly, Hogan Sheffer, Judy Tate, Bettina Bradbury, Richard Culleton, Susan Dansby, Judith Donato, Josh Griffith, Elizabeth Page, Melissa Sammons, Charlotte Gibson, CBS Daytime. Topic. Daytime Emmy Awards As the World Turns has won 43 Daytime Emmys. Topic. Show 1987. Outstanding Drama Series 1991. Outstanding Drama Series 1993 Outstanding Directing Team 1999 Outstanding Original Song Tied with General Hospital 2001 Outstanding Drama Series 2001 Outstanding Writing Team 2002 Outstanding Writing Team 2003 Outstanding Drama Series 2004 – Outstanding Writing Team 2005 – Outstanding Achievement in Casting for a Drama Series 2005 – Outstanding Writing Team 2007 – Outstanding Directing Team Topic. Individuals 1984 Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Justin Dees, Tom Hughes. 1984. Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Larry Brigman, Dr. John Dixon. 1985. Outstanding Juvenile Male in a Drama Series. Brian Bloom, Dusty Donovan. 1986. Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. John Wesley Shipp, Doug Cummings, 1987, Outstanding Ingenue in a Drama Series, Martha Byrne, Lily Walsh, 1987, Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series, Greg Marks, Tom Hughes, 
1987, "'Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series", Larry Brigman Dr. John Dixon. 1988, "'Outstanding Ingenue in a Drama Series", Julianne Moore, Franny Hughes, Sabrina Hughes. 1990, "'Outstanding Juvenile Male in a Drama Series", Andrew Kavavit, Paul Ryan. 2001, Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, Leslie Kay, Molly Conlon. 2001, Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, Martha Byrne, Lily Walsh Snyder, Rose D'Angelo. 2003, Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series, Benjamin Hendrickson, Hal Munson. 2004, Lifetime Achievement Award, Eileen Fulton, Lisa Grimaldi. 2004, Lifetime Achievement Award, Don Hastings, Bob Hughes. 2004, Lifetime Achievement Award, Helen Wagner, Nancy Hughes. 2004, Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, Katie McLean, Rosanna Cabot. 2006, Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series, Jennifer Landon, Gwen Norbeck Munson. 2007, Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series, Jennifer Landon, Gwen Norbeck Munson. 2007, Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, Maura West, Carly Tenney Snyder. 2008, Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series. Jennifer Landon, Gwen Norbeck Munson. 2010, Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, Julie Pinson, Janet Sacconi Snyder. 2010, Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, Maura West, Carly Tenney Snyder. 2010, Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, Michael Park, Jack Snyder. 2011. Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Michael Park, Jack Snyder. Topic: Other Awards. In 2010, As the World Turns was nominated for a Glad Media Award for Outstanding Daily Drama during the 21st Glad Media Awards. Topic: American Daytime Television Firsts. In 1988, the serial made American daytime television history by introducing its first gay male character, Hank Elliott, played by Brian Starcher. In 2007, Luke Snyder and Noah Mayer, played by Van Hansis and Jake Silberman respectively, shared the first gay male kiss on American daytime television. When they formed a relationship they became the first gay male couple on daytime television, and consummated their relationship on January 12, 2009, giving As the World Turns Another American Daytime First. <laughs> Supercouples Jeff Baker and Penny Hughes Bob Hughes and Kim Sullivan Tom Hughes and Margot Montgomery Steve Andropoulos and Betsy Stewart Holden Snyder and Lily Walsh Jack Snyder and Carly Tenney Luke Snyder and Noah Mayer Will Munson and Gwen Norbeck Topic in popular culture on the TV series Tom and Jerry Kids While Tom watches Nine Lives to Live, Jerry changes it to As the Cheese Turns. In the 1960s to 70s the Carol Burnett Show featured a recurring sketch called, As the Stomach Turns, a parody of As the World Turns and soap operas in general. On All in the Family, Edith Bunker would occasionally mention wanting to watch The Secret Storm, but after that soap opera was cancelled, she would later mention As the World Turns as a viewing preference. In the Pulp series The Destroyer No. 22, Brain Drain, by Warren Murphy and Richard Sapper, it was revealed that Chiun is a big fan of the soap opera as the planet revolves and constantly glued in front of the television to catch the broadcast. Children's television network Nickelodeon once featured a series of shorts entitled As Our School Bus Turns, with the, actually unconnected, episodes taking place aboard a school bus. 
Each episode would end with a stereotypical soap opera cliffhanger. In 1993, PBS children's show Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood featured a parody soap opera in the neighborhood of make-believe called, As the Museum Turns, starring Lady Elaine of the Museum Go Round. In 1999, Eminem recorded the song, As the World Turns, as part of his album The Slim Shady LP. Topic. DVD release In October 2011, Soap Classics released a four-DVD collection of 20 selected episodes, marking the first time that any As the World Turns episodes were available on any recorded medium. The oldest episode on the collection dates from September 29, 1979, while the latest episode was from April 10, 2010. In November 2011, a Christmas in Oakdale DVD was released, celebrating five Christmas episodes from the show. The featured Christmases are 1985, 1992, 1995, 2000 and 2007. A. Carjack collection was also released, celebrating supercouple Carly and Jack in ten of their most memorable episodes. The Holden and Lily Story collection had ten of their most memorable episodes. Farewell to Oakdale had the final ten episodes of the series. The James Stenbeck Story Collection had ten of his most memorable episodes. The As the World Turns, The Wedding of Bob and Kim DVD collection contained ten episodes which aired April 2-15, 1985 that featured the bachelor party, the wedding ceremony, and the reception of Bob Hughes and Kim Sullivan, as played by Don Hastings and Catherine Hayes. This collection was only available online. Topic. See also History of As the World Turns List of longest-running United States television series <laughs> Note